everybody. Uh, I guess this is my next installment of what I may take to calling tools of the trade. Uh, this is another this is another widget that I put together to help me work a little bit faster, uh, more efficiently, and more accurately. And this whole contraption that you see in front of you revolves around these little pieces of thermal adhesive and the LED. All of this for that. Now, one thing that's really important about using thermal adhesive with these LEDs is following the manufacturer's specifications uh, for time and for pressure. And it really does make an observable difference uh, to follow the specifications versus not. And by observable, I mean your light is going to be better at maintaining its brightness for longer. Basically, as the LED heats up, uh, it's going to lose a little bit of output if the temperature, well, basically if it gets too hot. So one way we keep that from happening is with this thermal interface, the heat actually goes out into the flashlight head and allows our LED to stay strong and bright. Uh, so I put together this contraption uh, basically so I could apply 100 PSI of pressure to the LED and the thermal tape for 30 seconds. Now the old way that I did this is I would walk all the way across the shop to the arbor press and you know put the head underneath the press and pull down the handle and I'd have to like sit there and wait and run the timer for 30 seconds to do each one. It's really efficient to walk that far. It's not fun to kind of monkey bar hang on the press. So this sits at my assembly table uh, and all I have to do is press down on this foot lever over here uh, to make all the magic happen. So basically the way this works, I don't know if you'll be able to, no, you won't be able to see this. All right, inside this head, there's an LED it's a little piece of thermal tape under it. There's already an LED in here. So I take this sleeve, which actually centers the LED inside the head, if I put it in the right direction. This other part that is relieved so I don't crush the LED, it just pushes down on the sides of the uh, circuit board. I'll get that in there and you kind of feel around for the flat spot. And this other aluminum piece that seats itself uh, around the inside of the light. And basically, I'm going to squish this whole thing together in order to get our contact. Um, now, this all works under air pressure. So I'm going to power this thing up. Uh, I've got a little separate pressure regulator here, a bunch of air hose, a foot valve. And this is all fed into a little pneumatic cylinder that I got where? From eBay because eBay brings all things. Um, it's a little pneumatic cylinder with a short quarter inch stroke. And then this whole steel frame I built around the cylinder in order to push down on this thing with 100 PSI for 30 seconds. So basically the way it works, there's some little circles on the top of the piston that help me align this thing right in the center. Push down on the foot pedal. Okay, it wasn't that dramatic, but, but we're applying the right amount of pressure. You know, we time it, wait for 30 seconds. And then we're done. And then I do the next one. And that is so much easier than running around across the shop and wearing out my arm. And it's also fun to build these kind of tools that do cool things. Um, there's also, this is really dark, there's a speed control valve on the input. So the cylinder doesn't just slam up to the top, but it starts to apply the pressure gently. And then it drops back down uh, more quickly. Um, all right, thanks for checking in.